Hey guys, my name is Marlo with Vegas Mini Mansion. Welcome to my channel. My channel is a do-it-yourself channel, but today we're going to talk about backyard landscaping ideas. So you've seen all the ideas, all the videos, all the pictures, and you're seeing all these nice backyards, but the question is, where do you get all the materials to do your backyard? So we're gonna talk about the top three brands for hardscaping, we're gonna talk about patio furniture, we're gonna talk about irrigation on how to get started so you can start growing plants and trees in your backyard. So I'm from the perspective of a do-it-yourselfer, but regardless if you're gonna do it yourself or choose a contractor, my video will help you. So we're gonna get started, guys. So guys, what the heck are you gonna do for your backyard, guys? So I know how it is, you move into a home, you don't know what you're gonna get, if you're gonna get a pool, if you're not going to get a pool. I chose not to get a pool because I had a dog, I had a Shih Tzu. I just wanted him to be able to free roam in the backyard. So actually, I got two fire pits back there. I built a secondary patio. And um, what I noticed, you know, was Home Depot, you know, or Lowe's going to those locations. They didn't have all the materials that I wanted, right? And I was like wondering, where do people get all these materials? So with a little bit of research, I found out that there's a company called Site One in Las Vegas and they have all the big name brands of pavers and hardscaping. So the top three companies that you should look into in purchasing is Belgard Pavers. They have a website. I use Belgard. I use another brand called MSI um, Porcelain Pavers for my secondary patio. I'll show you in a second. And then another big brand is Teco Block, and that brand is from Canada. So all those items are imported from Canada. Uh, it's a little bit on the high end, but I do have some concrete pavers by Teco Block in my backyard, and I'll show you those. But it's just good to know those three top materials, because whoever's going to be your, your hardscaper, or maybe you're going to do it yourself. I did it myself. I had everything delivered to... Uh, my street right out here. I just wanted to dig down and truly be a do-it-yourselfer because this is what my channel is all about. And also what type of furniture you're gonna use in your backyard because Las Vegas is very hot, right? So I have uh, this furniture here, which is some umbrella. And then um, I put some aluminum uh, furniture out there on the secondary patio and guess what? It didn't do too good. So. I'm gonna share with you on what type of furniture not to get in your backyard and what to get. And basically my channel is all about showing you how to water plants and trees because I know how it is. Um, have you ever noticed when you go to the nursery, they never tell you on how to water your plants or trees. There's no instructions, right? And then you think you're, you know, you're all hunky dory. You go plant your tree or plant and guess what? It dies. So fall is the best time to plant a tree. So fall, it has less uh, stress on the plant. So make sure whatever tree you put in your backyard, the first day you're gonna water that thing for about three days straight. And then after that, you're going to, it's fall, so you only water that tree two to three times a week. And on top of that, you can get started with your backyard. You don't have to have all these trenches dug out in your backyard by the landscapers. I just hooked up my irrigation to my faucet and I have a timer that goes onto my faucet. And uh, just watch my other video. I show you how, how to install a timer to your faucet and I water my plants and trees in my backyard. Then also I see these big um, pizza ovens. Pizza ovens are very popular everywhere, but um you'll see these big, huge ones, you know, with cranes, you ever see them and they're installing them in people's backyard. You don't need one of those big, huge ones. What they don't tell you is those pizza ovens take forever to, uh, to heat up, right? And those pizzas get done in like two minutes. I have a pizza oven in my backyard, I'll show you. But those pizzas get done in like two minutes. So you can literally make pizzas back to back with the regular, size oven that fits two to three pizzas. So let's show you my backyard. I'm gonna show you what plants do well here in Las Vegas. All right guys, so I'm gonna show you these plants and trees in my backyard. 
so right here i have a birds of paradise these birds of paradise do good under patios don't try to put these out in direct sunlight it's too hot in las vegas and then i got asparagus out here underneath the patio and then uh, right over here we got the climbing jasmine and then i have a japanese blueberry and there goes my pizza oven so if you're gonna do a do-it-yourself project or a patio so i was telling you site one is the company where you get the bell guard paper so as you can see this retaining wall that is by bell guard pavers and that's what i use to create this retaining wall that goes around my porcelain paver patio so these porcelain pavers are made by msi they're italian pavers and then i was able to make that pizza oven uh right there on the bell guard pavers as well so there goes the uh Japanese blueberry tree. I give you tips on my channel on how to water trees. The climbing jasmine do good in Las Vegas, right? And then what you need to understand when you put things out in the heat on a planter, the plants that do well are the light green plants, the very light ones. You try to put a dark or big leaves on a planter in the hot heat, it's not gonna make it, guys. And those are the oleanders. It's fall, so those do good. They keep on growing flowers. And uh, these are poisonous, so if you got a dog that eats absolutely everything, you probably don't wanna have these. Oh, and these are the Teco block pavers, the oversized pavers. They're Teco blocks, so these are from out of Canada. And like I said, that company Site One, they're just not in Las Vegas, they're in a lot of states. And uh, then you have the Mexican Black Pebble here. And uh, I'll share everything, addresses where to find all these things. And then I have the edging the modern edging here which was i got these materials from uh, home depot if you just follow my channel i'll share with you all these projects guys so just as a reminder guys all i did was put this timer and connected it to my application on my phone and i just connected it to the hose and i just dug a little trench i went out to the wall out there i know you see that wall which is one straight little trench and you put it, um, the landscaping tubing underneath the ground. And then what's cool this way is like, if there's, there's literally no leaks. And if I do get a leak, I can track it easily. A lot of these landscapers, they'll say they got to dig all these big trenches to connect the irrigation from your front yard to your backyard. You don't really need to have that done. And it's expensive guys so all that costs thousands of dollars and there's no need to do that i was able to just connect this simple little timer to my faucet and this is like 60 bucks and then got the landscaping materials for less than 150 dollars and did it that way oh and yeah oh yeah so the the ground out there is very hard so i remember when i was young and i got my first home you know i, I grew up in california and hawaii so everything all plants and all that flourish you know what I mean then I come to Vegas and I notice how hard the soil is and it was so difficult for me to dig with the shovel so you're not going to dig with the shovel guys there's these 16 pound 17 pound weighted bars that are very heavy they're like picks and they dig into the ground very easily or you can use these uh jackhammer so guys as an extra bonus tip I've got a couple of uh, patio furniture behind me here so when you're looking for patio furniture, you're looking for keywords like UV protectant, all weather proof, sun resistant. If you are looking for patio furniture, you do not see those keywords. Do not purchase the patio furniture. I don't care how much thousands of dollars it is and how nice it looks. If it does not have those keywords, your patio furniture will not last. So 
an example this white and gray one here it's powder coated which is a good quality and the color is flat and the cushions are all weather proof but this one is the it's some umbrella cushions very good material the frame is strong but the uh, color when i put it out in the hot heat it started peeling so i'll show you what it looks like right now but um you don't want to choose furniture that has a shine or a sheen to it because when it's out there, it's going to peel. Okay, guys? So that's my extra bonus tip to you guys so you pick out the right furniture. So just to give you an idea, yes, the cushions are weather resistant. And this patio furniture is durable, but I put this out in the heat and look. See how it doesn't maintain its uh, color? It looks old. It looked new, just like the fire pit that it came with but when I put it out in the sun. So that's why you want to look for all weather, sun resistant furniture. Look for those keywords, UV protectant. And just to give you an example, so don't get anything that has a shine to it. Like this chair had a nice shine to it. Do not get that type of furniture. I'll put some popular brands in the description so you have an idea what to look for so guys i know my video was a little long but i just wanted to give you a better insight on how to get your backyard started so thank you for joining me please give me a like i'm new to youtube and uh subscribe guys i got some good stuff check out my videos okay bye bye